All right, guys, you've been watching us probably, I don't know what, in what order, but if you, if you are watching us, you probably see a lot of videos of us wearing the same shirt, but uh, we're just doing a lot of videos, man. But this is the second part of our, our, our hauls, comic book hauls. Yeah, guys, we've got some raw books, we got some slabs. Stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, this is going to be the second part. Again, we wanted to kind of break it up because we've gotten these in, at different times and we just kind of let them pile up. But again, these are a lot of books that, that we've picked up and just kind of kind of put it in our second or thirds or fourths, uh, uh, kind of like um, hoarding aspect of it. Yeah. So and it's okay to hoard some of these books. Uh, so with that, let's start off with some of the raw books, guys. Uh, Rock the Batman, we have Batman Avengers number 12. This is going to be the variant. This is going to be the full cover. Really, really cool cover. Again, I mean, it's just an awesome cover. You know, Harley Quinn's first appearance, stuff like that. Uh, this is really a cover buy, but for the most part, you know, it's a book that's, you know, can can go for a little money sometimes. Um, we just really dig the art. Yeah, it's it's, it's a it's an awesome book. Uh, it actually stands out. Yeah. The next book is, you know, we're we're big fan, X-Men fanatics. He's a huge X-Men fanatic. So this is a real, real sharp copy of X-Men number 96. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is, this is, this is very high grade. Um, again, first appearance of Ma Ma uh, Maura McTaggart. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking cover, beautiful looking book. The yellow, the yellow is, is sharp. This bag, is, this old bag and board ain't doing any justice, but for the most part, this is sharp as hell. Um, beautiful looking book, again, you know, always plugging away the X-Men run, trying to do two, two three runs of X-Men, uh, because, well, why not? You know, we just like X-Men. Uh, the next book has to be X-Men number 117, and it'll be the first appearance of the Shadow King, if I'm not mistaken. Again. You know, first appearance, you can't go wrong with it. That was the first appearance. This is the first appearance. Um, it's still somewhat of the earlier uh, numbers with the, with the relaunch. Um, again, very, very, very high grade. The bag and board ain't doing it justice, but, you know, that's besides the point. Yeah. Awesome looking book. Yeah, when we bought these, uh, obviously, like, I mean, we haven't we haven't swapped them out. So, yeah. we've just had them. And like I said, we just, we've just been acquiring a whole bunch of stuff for... for from collections, auctions, uh, auction selling stuff, and, and, and personal stuff. So yeah. uh, it, it's a lot of work. Sometimes, man, we just we just come back to, to looking at these and, and you know, think about that. We need to change these because we're changing all the other bags, but we're not doing it to, to our personal books. Yeah, and then the next one we have, again, is just plugging away that X-Men run. It's going to be X-Men 145. And then you got, you know, you got Dr. Doom. We're off the bat. That's already a damn showstopper, in my opinion. And he's holding, uh, he's holding Storm. Um, awesome looking book. Again, you know, just plugging away that X-Men run. Um, dope ass cover. That's really what it is. For me, it's a dope ass cover. I'm not sure if anything happens in that book, but that cover is just fire to me. Uh, anything with Doom and, and just in general, man, if you're, that's that's one of my favorite uh, villains for Fantastic Four. So, I mean, anything with Doom is usually something that we pick up. Yeah, and speaking of Fantastic Four, we picked up Fantastic Four number 47. Again, beautiful looking book, you know, especially because it's an older book. Um, you just can't get enough of this, and I think this might be the second or third copy of this book. But when you when we see books like this, you you know we have the choice either not picking it up or picking it up, and sometimes you just can't pass it yeah. up. So again, I want to say this is the third appearance of the Inhumans. Um, so again, you know, third appearance, second appearance, first appearance can't go wrong with either one. We've always said pick up the second, third appearances because when number one gets hot, the rest fall. Awesome looking book. Uh, the next one we have is gonna be. Fantastic Four number 37, speaking of Doom himself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again, cover itself is damn iconic. Um, and it's an early issue of FF. Uh, you can't go wrong with it, digging it. And for the most part, it's pretty damn sharp. Yeah. So now it's just it's seeing the other copies that we have of Fantastic Four and seeing if, if one of the lesser copies is ready to make it to, you know, to the auction. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's hard to go with FF. Uh, the next book we have to be, and it's a book that a lot of people sleep on, but for the most part, you know, maybe because the cover doesn't really represent the character, but it's going to be Strange Tales number one, 180, and it's going to be the first appearance of Gamora. And I'm sorry, I, was, I looked at it because I was tripping for a minute. There's no Gamora in this cover itself, but Gamora is coming down to Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. and I, I'm i a big fan of Gamora herself. Yeah. Um, so Actually, everybody, the Guardians of the Galaxy, every character that 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 um, from the movie... Um, they've, they've done a, a heck of a job with those characters and you know to be quite honest with you I wasn't collecting really nothing guards pre pre movies of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, but after I saw the first movie man I became a, a Immediate fan and I started kind of picking up uh, the first appearances Well, I was always picking up. Um, I was always trying to pick up and I did pick up the more first appearance I just knew who she was and I just liked picking up first appearances 
Um, but again, the cover itself will really throw you off. But you have Warlock in it, so you really can't go wrong with that. And, and, and he's, he's about to come out in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah. So. The next one we have to be... This book right here can get hot, and, and it, it needs to... It needs to hot. Yeah, it needs to stay hot, I think. Um, because this is, this is a dope-ass character. It's going to be Thor 337. Now, this is not the new stand, but this is going to be the direct, but still... You know, his he's been rumored for a long time to come out. I think eventually he will come out. Uh, it's a book, honestly. If you well, can, I think he's confirmed up. for uh, part four. He's confirmed. Well, Chino has the inside scoop. He talks to the Marvel Zex every day. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they're trying to they're trying to get me to sign a, a like eight part movie deal with uh, X Men Wolverine. Wolverine. So I mean, uh, I do get a little bit of the the inside scoop every now and then. Now this is a damn awesome book. I know Man of Lethal Protector is probably a book that you've seen a million times. But it's just an iconic book that you'll want to pick up. Now, this one here is a little bit more rare. There's there's a harder to find one, which is outrageously priced. But this one will, will do for us for now. It could be uh Venom Lethal Protector number one, the gold variant. And this is what you would probably say like it was like a like a store exclusive back in the day. This is a sharp ass looking book, guys. This is a looks like it's a damn high grade for the most part. Uh, it's the one if you find for a good price, I recommend you pick it up. Because when Venom comes out, this damn book is gonna explode on top of you know ASM, you know three hundred and stuff like that, two ninety nine. So don't sleep on that gold variant. And don't be surprised if you don't see the with a nine point eight slap soon. I mean, we got a lead on on one, but I'm not gonna say anything else on that. This dude is always snitching, man. Um, the next book we have is to be a book that honestly we pick up as, as much as we can, as many times as we can, and um, it's gonna be ASM one ninety one one ninety four first appearance of Black Cat. Um, again, my daughter's a big fanatic of Black Cat. He's about to have two daughters, and they're gonna become big fanatics of Black Cat, I would imagine. Um, so, first appearance of, 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 of a female character, especially one that is really, really tied up with Spider Man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick it up <laughs> for sure. You know how you know how that works, and I think this is here. This honestly here, it's it's, it's somewhat undergraded in my opinion. Um, I think it could, it could bump up easily. This book you see on my Instagram, but. Again, sticking with the whole ASM theme, it's gonna be Spawn to Twenty One. Now you have two things that I, I love: Spawn and then an homage cover to um, AF Fifteen. Mm -hmm. So and a Nine Eight. This book is damn fire, and somewhat surprisingly, this book is hard to find. Um, you can't find it raw. There's a Mexican variant too, which I don't. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna pick up a few of those copies just because. I speak Spanish, why not? Mexican. <laughs> yeah. So again, well, it's and it's cheaper, a lot cheaper than this book. So, yeah, that's a dope-ass book. Now, the next book I have, guys, um, some people really slept on this book. And for the most part... And they're still sleeping on this book. For the most part, this book's been figured out that this is probably going to be the lower print out of all of them so far. It's going to be Edge of Spiders number two. It's going to be a 9.4. It's going to be the second print. And you can tell because it'll, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a lighter blue and then it'll say second print down there. Aside from that, further print Spider Gwen. This character itself, is, it's, it's on fire. Uh, the second print, it's the lower print for the most part, at a 9.4, and I can tell this book is probably like a 9.8 because it's dirty. That's really what all it is. So this book's probably like, like a 9.8. And more so, um, a lot of people do, do ask the question of, you know, if you had a choice to collect, um, to buy Ultimate Fallout or, or, or Spider Gwen's first appearance, um, to be quite honest with you, this is probably uh, uh, the better one. Obviously, we, we love uh, Miles Morales, but... Yeah. This one has proven in the last few years that it can keep uh, a good price point as far as um, uh, staying, staying on top of the market. Oh, and going with this book, guys, if you see this book, sometimes you might find this book for cheap. Pick it up because for the most part, this book was an afterthought. People are going to wake up on this book and, and it's going to start going for some stupid money eventually, my opinion. Now, we have the, first, we have the second print. Why not the second? You know, why not the first print also? I'm sorry, I'm messing, I'm messing that up big time. But you have a 9.6 of Edge Spider Verse, number two, first appearance of Spider Gwen, first print. Surprisingly, I found this damn book um, out of the wild because this book is hard to find. I never see Edge of Spider Verse. Really, I'm surprised I found these two, but. We, we don't see it, man. Like, like, to be quite honest with you, we, again, um, people always ask us, like, you guys still go to comic book shops? Like, All the time. All the time. Like, during the week, a lot. And we, we, we bump into some of our, our, our customers, you know, Jay is one of them, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, every now and then we'll bump into him, uh, Gun X, uh, he bumps into Gun X. Yeah, but uh, we bump into, we bump into our, customers, some of our customers. So, and and when, you come back, when you come back to the store, um, no more discounts, guys. Uh, shopping at other shops. But, <laughs> but apart from that, man, so um, we do go to shops and uh, we support the shops, man. So again, just because we own one doesn't mean that 
that we can't go spend our money somewhere else. If they have the books, man, we're, we're gonna go buy them. Aside from that, we're collectors, we're big collectors before we were shop owners. So you know, I'm a, I love I love the thrill of the hunt. So I still go out there hunting, man. Uh, the next book you guys probably saw on Instagram, but it, it is a, a, a recent pickup. It's gonna be Batman Six Oh Wait. I knew nothing of this. I didn't know anything, man. He told me, "Look, dude, he sent me a picture, and I was out there making deals." He's like, "Cool Batman book." No, I was like, oh. I, don't like this. I, I thought it was gonna be a giveaway. Like, <laughs> I thought he was gonna give this one away in one of our auctions. Nah, this this shit's staying forever. This, <laughs> the PC. this is staying the PC guys. I'm sorry to say, but this is this is never going. Hey, it would have been a cool giveaway because I thought that's what he was buying. I thought he was buying books to give away, but no, this book's in the in, in the PC. It's gonna be the, the the second print. Tricky to find. There's some more uh, elusive exclusive cover, like a, a retailer incentive one or whatever it may be. But for now, I'm cool with this one. I, I don't want to drop uh, too much money on, on, on the other on the other book. But a 9.8. It's topped out. 9.8. I mean, you can't get a better grade. I mean, you, you can, you can, but you got brain in the back. But yeah, you got yeah, you got yeah, uh, five time champion right there, right? Five times, six times. Something like Probably that. Probably six times already. But again, man, 9.8. Uh, can't ask for anything better. Hard to find. It is hard to find. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else. You, you know, online places stuff like that. But uh, I got it for a really good price. The last book I have, guys, is going to be Spider Woman number one, the the, the variant. And again, guys, at a 9.6, if this was a 9.8, I would be extremely happy. At 9.6, I'm super happy. So, in reality, I'm still happy as hell. Um, this is just uh, an interesting cover. That's what it is. And for the most part, there's a rumor out there this, this book was banned and all that good stuff. It's just a beautiful looking cover. That's all it is, man. Um, yeah. you, can, you can look up this book, it's hard to find for the most part. I was really surprised to find this book out in the wild. Again, these two books, you know, most of these books that I found out in the wild, um, it's just damn luck. That's what it is because I don't ever see these books and I hardly see them at damn, um, you know, even when we go out of, out, of, out, of, out of these cities, so I don't really see these books. So the one advice I can give you guys is shop around. Don't don't get stuck. And I mean, it sounds bad. Don't get stuck going to the same places. Go, if, if you live in a big city like Houston, and it kind of sucks we have a shop so I'm, I'm, I'm actually condoning this um, but yeah go if you're collecting and you're like us shop around man like go to different shops uh, uh, if you have spare time you're with the wife and, and y'all shopping just 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 pull it up on your on your on your Apple Maps or Google Maps and and check out these other shops man because again you know some of these collectors um, like us may not travel over there frequently but if you're in that area you know, you can maybe find some some books like us because I mean we don't find these here locally. We 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 go far and find find some of this stuff. And all of this, guys, the thrill of the hunt, hunting paid off this time. Got a whole bunch of damn books, man. With that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this damn pickup. We want to get back to doing some videos, and we're doing it. Got Chino, got myself, Manny, and we're out.